uh, uh, in, in Serbia, the United Front, the DAS. Uh, this was an anti campaign, successful opposition campaign with a very strong get out the vote uh, uh, part of it. Same in Georgia, and I would now say uh, the same in Ukraine. Fourth, there was a way to create the perception of a falsified election fast. Now, I put a lot of words in there, so let's be careful, be very clear. That perception, falsified election, and to get that information out fast. Serbia probably had the best electoral monitoring group of any of these three countries. It's called CESID. They ran a parallel vote tabulation that I th was probably one of the best in the world. And by uh, 24 hours after the vote, they could say that this, uh, their parallel vote tabulation showed that Kostunica, he's the candidate here of the United Front in Serbia at the time, uh, won a majority of the vote. But CESID never said that he won 53%. I just, I just was in Sessed's headquarters in Belgrade about five days ago, and we went over this quite uh, very, very instructively. That was the political parties that said that. There was never actually any confirmation that Kostunica had won the election in October of 2000. Never. Elect, uh, exit polls there, by the way, were illegal, so they didn't have that other, uh, that other way. But they created the perception, the parties did, not Sessit. They're too good of an organization to have done this. Uh, and that was very important. 